everybody and welcome back to the Wolf Clan. I'm Katie or Caitlin, whichever one you want to say, you know. So today we're actually going to be doing a DIY tutorial. I'll show you what mine looks like. There's actually two different ones. This is, this is what I like to call a iPod traveler's case, I guess you could say. So it's basically for your headphones, your charger, which I have on right now, and your case. You can't put your iPod in it, I know that's a little weird, but if you ever want, like, if you have like a designer case and you're going away somewhere and you really, really want to bring another one, it's also just a really cute way to store your cases and stuff like that, so, let go! Alright guys, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is two different DS cases. So, to start your DS case, so right now I have a 3DS case, which is a little bit smaller than a regular DS case. Um, game case so don't worry about that if you have a DS case or a DS game case and a 3DS then this is gonna work fine if you just have a DS case don't worry you can do that as well so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your DS case and you're gonna take out all the instructions so the little paper that's inside don't throw it away because if you ever want to get rid of it you can go to EB games you just have to take the paper out of it and everything just put them back and you're gonna take out the piece of paper in the back Put that aside so you just have the ribs of the case so I'm gonna set that down I'm gonna grab a piece of paper so this is like other than the DS case you're gonna need paper so just one sheet of regular paper for this one or actually technically two because of this sorry scissors and if you are younger than the normal age to use scissors please ask an adult for help because like it's I don't want anyone cutting their fingers off. A pen or pencil. Of course, your iPod case. Your headphones. I have these ones. They're just little skull candies. And your and a ruler. Some crayons. And your iPod charger cord, which right now is plugged in because I was charging my iPod before this video. So Anyway, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your case, and I know you're not going to be able to see this, but you're just going to put it, put the paper down, okay, put the paper over top of it, and then you're going to trace the line of the case, I'm just going to move you guys back a little bit, so you're just going to take it and you're going to trace a line of where the case would be, and put it near to the very edge of the case the bottom of it so you have and make sure it's also very straight too so that it's perfect and then take you're gonna just take your pen and make a straight or not straight sorry I'm trying to do this very oddly oh god okay right now I'm, I'm having an issue just give me a moment make a straight line So with your straight line, this line here, you're going to cut the line. Do not do my crooked line. Do not do that. You do not need that. So I'm just going to cut it in a line that I just made. There. So I have a straight line, or straightish line, sorry. Then you're going to take the case, hold the paper to the case, and then find out where the plastic piece ends. So the plastic that's on the case itself, like the little plastic piece that holds in the papers. You're going to find out where that ends. So as I'm doing here, I'm just going to find a piece right here. I'm going to do it on both sides. And don't worry if your lines aren't perfect because literally you're going to be putting it in the case anyway. And then afterwards we're going to trim off the ac excess. Sorry. I'm having a long day so please ignore my speech problem right now. There. So there's your piece of paper. Now we're just going to put it inside the case so that you have kind of a know how to put it in so 
And also, if you don't get it right the first time, you can always do it again. Or leave it the way it is, doesn't matter, because you know what, it's the way you like it. If you like it that way, go right ahead. Oh, don't let it pop out the bottom, by the way. So once you get that, you can see that I actually have some excess, but then you're going to fold the case over. You're going to shut your case so that the paper actually does fold in the crease. And now you're just going to take a, your pen and you're going to make a line of where you need to cut the excess, if you have any excess. All the way around the paper. So that when you go to cut it, you can just move the paper up. See? So now I have my traced line and you're going to just move the paper upwards a little bit. Just move it a little bit so you can get the paper. Sorry about that. So you're just going to tilt the paper up and cut the line so that you now have a perfectly straight line. And I just put it back in the case. Now you guys could actually design it. You could take out the paper and do whatever you want. I just like to do something simple. Just like maybe draw. And then you'd also write on it like this one for be for like headphones or whatever. So again, like this one. This one I did do backwards. So I probably will redo this one later. But I just put iPod traveling case. So I'm going to step skip the step of designing so that it's not going to be a long video and we'll get started on showing you how to use this one. So this one I'm using for my, for the DS it, for the DS case I use for, I just open it up and see there's nothing in it. And I use this one for my cases. So for what I do is I just take my case, sorry, take the case, and I flip it so that this, so the design side's on the outside and I put it where this piece is. So just put it right in the middle here and then shut it if it will shut today. Just make sure it's kind of like up a little bit so that it's not completely so you have like a little gap there and then you just shut the case. And this way you have one of these and then you're going to set it aside. Now you're going to take your other one and for this one this is just a DS 3D case. If you don't have that it doesn't matter. You can do it the way that you have what you have so you're going to take your headphones, you're going to put the headphone pieces, like the ear pieces, inside where the game would usually go, and then stretch out the rest. And you can also put your cord in here, I just don't have it with me, so this is how it's going to look. So if the headphones are in there, and then you're just going to shut the case. There you go. And then you can do this with your other cord too, I just don't have it with me right now. So there's that. Now for the Wii U case or the Wii U game case or if you even have a um, like an old DVD case that would work just as well but I have this is what I have and I found this was a lot easier for me so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take out the paper like I did before. <laughs> and uh, put that aside again but this time I'm gonna have my ruler so I have it out so because this one's a little bit more trickier so you're gonna do the exact same thing with the paper but instead you're gonna take the ruler and you're going to mark the line because otherwise you're gonna have one long piece of paper so you're gonna take your paper that's already on top and you're gonna take your ruler and just mark off where it ends just kind of bend it, maybe even bend the ruler over top of it. Just mark off just about an inch above where it ends. So there you have it. So now I have my little line here. So I know exactly where it ends off so I can cut that paper off. So I'm just going to cut this piece straight across. Now that paper can go over here. So now you have this. Now you're going to fit it for the case. 
So again, just doing the same thing as we did with the other one, except for just a little bit longer. You're going to go and try to find where the end of the plastic ends off, and then just mark it off. Again, if it's not perfect, I mean, it, me it makes it also characters, makes it more unique and different, and it doesn't have to be exactly how... It's supposed to be, it doesn't matter. There, so now we have the paper here. And again, same thing as we did with the DS case. You're gonna put it in. This one might be a bit more trickier because it does have more holes in it than a regular DS case does. Sorry, having a bit of trouble with the paper in today. And if it helps, you could bend the plastic piece back a lot more, like the case itself a lot, because then it will make it go in better, which I found is a lot easier than trying to find a way. And again, we're going to snap it shut. See? And now we're going to do the same thing as we did the last time. I know it's a lot of repetitive stuff, except for it's just a little bit different because it is bigger. I'm going to line it off all the way around the case. And then we're just going to cut the paper off. Now I like to take it at least an inch over so that I have, so I can see the line perfectly, if you can see that line. So you can see the line and it's not going to be as hard to... Place it back in. So when you place it back in, and again, you could design it before, but I would say, I'd rather say design after. So I'm going to show you my sister's case. So, so this is her case. This is how she did it. And she just did rainbows. She did it on the line as well. Um, so it just says Nicole's iPod travel case. So this is really, really easy. Or actually Nikki's. So it's really, really easy. Super, super cute. And I will show you how to put the stuff inside. So this is just mine. I'm going to design it afterwards just because I don't want to waste your guys' time watching me color and yeah, so I will show you guys how to put your stuff inside. So with your headphones, if you guys don't have these little pieces, again, you could just put them over here. But for me, I have these little pieces or actually we'll try to show you guys this one. So you're going to want to ravel them up as much as possible and then just stick them in there it should shut and then I have a Griffin protector case which these are these ones are the Griffin survival slim case which I absolutely love this case so this one actually does fit inside of the DS or the not the DS sorry the Wii U cases so then you're just going to stick that right where the usually where the CD goes and then close it. Okay, I'm sorry, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Just give me a moment. Okay. So I am going to have to put it over here on this clip, but it should fit. Okay, hold on, I'm going to get my sister to help me with this, because she did it the last time. I'm not really sure how she did it. I'm just going to watch her really quickly.
It took her two minutes. It took me like five. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm just going to open it up and show you. She just put it inside the crease of the case itself and then put it there. So, And you can also probably put your cord in here. Or either put it here or in a little crease like she did. And then you just shut the case. And there you go. So this is a really easy, simple way. And it's also extremely cheap. And you know what? It's so easy because you could just chunk it in your bag. Or if you're going away, you could put it in your suitcase. And it's so much easier than packing all those like, little things and like going to the place and go, oh my god, I can't find it. So I know that's, that's going to help me. And I hope it helps you guys. And I hope you guys like it. If you guys do like these kind of videos, please hit that like button. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.